I am running. I am. Oh my gosh! Running. Oh my gosh! The kraken is attacking right now. Holy what? cow! It's it's grabbed oh, onto God. the deck. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are back in Stormworks, and I'm joined by Rare Preserver. We're aboard this really cool ship called the Cliffs Victory, and we're gonna sink it. So we'll see how this goes. So Railroad, here we are on board the ship. It looks pretty cool. And do you know if this was a real ship? Yes, actually, this was a real ship. I know some people may think it wasn't, but in fact, uh, Cliffs Victory was a real ship. Originally built in 1945 as a victory ship for World War II named Notre Dame Victory. It was later bought and by uh, Cleveland Cliffs and converted in Bethlehem Steel's shipyards in Baltimore into the and uh, rechristened as the Cliffs Victory for Cleveland Cliffs Steamship Company. Um, I've actually included a photo of the real ship for Jesse that he can flash up on screen, which is was. Um, taken of the ship in 1976, a few years before it was retired. Um, the ship was then in service from 1951 until um, the 1980s. Apparent, the sources vary as to when it was laid up, but sources say it was laid up at around 1981 and was sold for scrapping in 1985. And it actually sailed out of the Great Lakes under its own power to the scrapyard. But anyways, the startup procedure for this vessel is relatively simple. Um, if Jesse, if you'd like, I could start it up for you since I've gotten familiar with the vessel prior to the, us recording. So I'm gonna turn on the bilge pumps first. It's always good to have that on, you know, safety wise. Anyways, gonna turn on the exhaust valve, air valve, pressure relief valve, ignition firebox valve and then that's pretty much it so yeah the process is relatively simple but these builds are really cool they don't lag a lot and it's nice especially on multiplayer servers with uh the lag and all that can occur with larger builds because this one is smaller but it does have quite a lot of details and that is nice to see i keep trying to move the throttle and i think that's a safety feature this i noticed the throttle is locked in the down position until it builds pressure. Then once it, once the pressure in the boiler's up, then you can push it forward. In fact, it just reached that point now and we are on the move. Excellent. So let's start with the bridge because uh, we're gonna take a bit of a tour. So yeah, for this voyage, bridge, um, do you captain. wanna be, oh, thank you very much. I was about to ask, do you wanna be the captain? But no, I guess I will be the captain on this voyage. We'll let you be the captain on the next voyage because we're gonna yes. be sinking this and then we're gonna sink it again. So. Yeah, here we are on the bridge. Going down, we have, I think, the captain's cabin. Yes. There we are. Captain's stateroom. Wow, very nice. We got a clock. We've got a light. And then we have, down here, we have uh, passenger staterooms. Um, apparently, there's three of them, but I think the real Wow, this one's actually more. really nice. I mean, you get a great view. And you've got some great accommodation with, like, the size of the room. It's very nice. Going this way, we got another room. This one yes. is a little bit smaller, but we do have our own bathroom, which is nice. I think this one is just the same thing. Yeah, it looks to be the same. All right, let's go back and make sure yes. to shut these doors because these can actually flood. Anyways, you've got the rail for like, I think this, I think this was like the crane they used to move the hatch covers back and forth, right? Yeah, I would imagine that's what it was. You can see sort of the rail underneath it, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm just going to open everything up and you can just wander at your leisure, sir. All right, sounds good. We got some crew quarters here. We got a bunk bed and we've got some seating and whatnot. Over here, we have a locked cabin. I found the dining room. That's good. This is a very small dining room, but a dining room nonetheless. Anyways, it's for the crew, so it doesn't really have to be very lavish. And speaking of which, the part you're in now is the original bottom portion of superstructure from the victory ship they just cut the rest of it off all right so here we have the lifeboats do you want to test launch one or i say we stop the ship first and then oh what's the fun in that there we go let's just find out oh well i guess i'm gonna need the boat yeah you kind of did that to yourself my friend i'm sorry to say that all right i see the lifeboat don't mind me i am totally a good driver i can totally back this sucker up and park right beside it well then you know, while you're doing that, I'm going to discreetly go to the other lifeboat very quickly. Also, is it just me, or, uh... Yeah, you're noticing something now. I <laughs> may or may have not clicked the button or turned the key to sink the ship. All engines stop. Oh my gosh, we are going down very quick. Okay, time to abandon ship. Here we go. All right, I am on the lifeboat. Wow, it really is going down fast. 
I mean, technically, I don't think anybody that's in the engine room is going to make it out. But if anybody is on the outside of the ship, they're good. I don't know how many people you actually brought on board the sucker and put inside, but we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, no, the pilot house is flooding. Yep, there it goes. Well, so if, real quick, in real life, would the ship's engine still be spurting out smoke if it were going down this fast? I mean, I've heard stories of that, but it's rare. I mean, I'm no expert on that, but I'm pretty sure if the engines were still running, they would still be outputting smoke. So, unless... Until, um, yeah. I guess until their ventilation things were, um, flooded. Alright, so I think now we're gonna respawn the ship and then let Railroad be the captain. So let the insanity begin. Alright, so here we are on board, and, uh, yes, uh, per Railroad's request, we have a mild rainstorm. So... You call this mild, my friend? This might even be too much for me, and coming from me, that says a lot. Anyways, I digress. Oh, well, we'll make it work, we just gotta fight our way through. Yeah, I'm going down to the engine room right now. I'm starting everything up. Here we go. Not to be the one to be alarming, but I just had a bit of water come into the pilot house. Oh, and don't mind that. It's fine. Standard operating procedure, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. I mean, everything seems to be okay. I mean, we still have some passengers left on the decks, which is uh, always good. You know what? I'm going to release the boats here. They're going to stay on the deck, but I think it would be safer to Do have not... them ready to go. Oh. You don't... Nothing happened. It's totally okay back here. Everything's fine. It's a good thing we still have one of our lifeboats. The other one got smashed to bits because somebody decided it'd be a good idea to release it. I'm climbing. I am running. I am Oh my gosh! Running. Oh my gosh, the Kraken is attacking right now. Holy what? cow, it's it's grabbed Where onto the deck. Oh my gosh. Um, this is what? not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No kidding. No kidding. Yeah, especially since you were right in the area where it grabbed onto. What's the nearest land? I don't even care. If, I don't, I care don't if think just... we need to worry about the nearest land right now because the Kraken is following us and we are underwater. Abandoned ship, screw this! Yeah, get out now. Go. Run. I'm going for the lifeboat. Oh I my gosh. The, I think the ship's gone submarine mode. I can't even get Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. Well then, as the ship goes down, I think that's going to be a video there. So yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye.